So I was on a lease forfeiture this morning and uh, this Ultium One Star was in the door. Um, as you can see, I've already taken it apart uh, one side just to have a look at the uh, cam mechanism, which is uh, um, totally standard. There's nothing special about that whatsoever. Uh, there's quite a lot of anti-drill protection on this lock. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pick this side and uh, then we'll do a, a quick and dirty dump and we'll see what pins are inside this lock. I, I obviously don't have a key, so I've got no idea. Um, so it's not really important to preserve the, uh, the order. Um, I've got a 30,000 Z wrench and because it's a paracentric keyway, if I try putting it in, uh, you can see that basically it tends to drop around and move around and get in the way of the keyway when you're picking. But what I did find is that if I pop it in the top there, you can see that I've just about got an angle. I'm able to get my thumb on there. And then we've got a, a reasonably thin pick to work our way in between. And what I'm gonna do is literally just going to pop that in, go to the back, and then set the pins from the back to the front. And um, literally just working my way along the lock, uh, depressing the pins one at a time. So we'll start there. We've got a nice click on the back there. Let's just keep working my way forward. Another nice click. There's no movement on the core. There's no suggestion that there's uh, any sort of spool pin inside here. Um, at the moment anyway, we'll just keep on uh, popping those pins down. Okay, it's starting to feel like it's uh, getting ready to open. A little rotation, there we go, and we've got the lock. So that didn't take too long to pick. Um, what I'm going to do is take that clip off the back. Let me just get something that can do that for me. Uh, we'll just pop this clip off. It's still holding on, look, even though it's bent. There we are, hooray at last. Okay, so um, let's just get uh, a straight pick. That'll do. Maybe a tension wrench. Let's just find a nice straight tension wrench. There we go. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this uh, core out and we'll take a look at the pins. Right, pop that in there. There we go. Right, let's coax this out and see. There we go, that's got it. So we'll have this upright so we can keep, at least see the key pins. And out come the driver pins everywhere. There we go. Driver pins and springs are released. You can see we've got anti-drill protection on the side here. There's four um, hardened steel buttons there that, uh, that reside on the side to protect the, uh, the core. And let's just zoom in on these. Zoom in on these uh, key pins. We've got what looks like uh, a miniature spool pin. Yeah, they're very, they're very tiny spool pins. They're hardly, uh, they're not very severe at all, which is probably why they didn't come into uh, play whatsoever when we were picking this. Okay, right, let's just tip these key pins out. We've got some nice different colored key pins there. So we've got uh, one, two, three, what look like um, steel anti-drill uh, key pins. And then it looks like we've got three standard pins after that and nothing special. So there we go, that's what's inside, or what was inside, this um, Altian uh, One Star, which uh, didn't seem too difficult to pick and uh, doesn't really contain that much in the way of uh, anti-pick uh, pins.